Hello, and welcome to our next lesson on Carnot maps. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at four variable Carnot map. Now, now there's nothing in the four variable map that's different, mechanically speaking, than the two or the three variable. So here, we're just going to take a look at how to set one up and then work a few examples of, you know, solving problems with four variable K maps. So let's go ahead and build our four variable map. So as you can imagine, the four variable map is, is quite large. And we got a big box, just like always. Then we cut it in half horizontally, leaving the stem. We cut it in half vertically, leaving the stem. We cut it in half vertically again on both sides there. We'll leave a stem sort of sticking out to the bottom, just like we did for the three variable map. And then we will cut it in half horizontally, leaving stems out to the right hand side just like that. All right, and then we'll add our label stem, just like that. We'll tag it with F, and here we'll see that F is a function of A, B, C, and D. Now, just like before, those variables read from left to right, so let's talk about how to number and label this map correctly. Like always, we start with all zeros in the top left corner. So we go zero, 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 zero. And then we're gonna move across in a gray code sort of fashion. We're gonna go zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, right? And then down here, we'll start with zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 and zero, one, one, zero, right? So these first two rows are exactly the same as the three variable K map. So going down to the next row, we actually see that we can't necessarily um, just sort of jump to the next thing, right? The next available number would be eight, but notice that eight doesn't have that gray code adjacency with four. Right, so we actually can't use eight here, but what does have that equivalency or that adjacency, 12. So we can start here. So one, one, zero, zero is adjacent to zero, one, zero, zero. Only the leftmost bit is different. So we can start here at 12 and kind of keep going. Um, so one, one, zero, zero becomes one, one, zero, one. And then one, 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 right? That's what's adjacent with zero, one, 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 and one, one, zero, one. And then here we'll have, um, let's see, one, 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 zero. There we go. Yeah, sorry, I had sort of doubted myself for just a moment, but now we can see that we have zero, one, one, and only that leftmost bit is different. Now down here in the final row, we can see that eight is adjacent to 12 up here. So one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, and one, zero, one, zero. So if we were to drop those base 10 numbers in, it would label kind of like this. Let's use a different color. That'd be zero, one, three, two, four, five, seven, six, and then down at the bottom row would be eight, nine, 11, 10, and this third row would be 12, 13, 15, and 14. So there we go, that's how we number everything. Now when we go to label, we'll see that this is a lot like the other maps we've looked at. This top two rows, the leftmost bit, the A bit, notice is zero in every single cell. So these are the A knots, and down here the bottom two, the leftmost bit is one in every single cell, so that's gonna be our A. And then we hop over to the right-hand side here, and we see that the B bit, the second bit, in these middle rows is one in every cell, so that's going to be our B. And then on the outsides, we see that the um, second bit, the B bit, is zero, 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 right? Zero in every cell, so these outside ones are the B knots. And going up to the top, the C's, 
We notice that on the left-hand side here, the third bit, the C bit, is zero in every cell. So that's going to be our C naughts. And then we have our Cs on the other side. And then down here at the bottom, you guessed it, we're going to go D in the middle and D naught and D naught on the outside. So there's our structure for a four variable K map. So um, one thing to note, remember in the three variable map, there was sort of the adjacency that existed um, off to the sides, right? And that still exists. So we can see that, you know, six is still adjacent to four. So there is adjacency across the sides here. Same thing with 14 and with 12. But also in the four variable map, notice at the top here, we have adjacency from top to bottom. 0, 0, 1, 1 is adjacent to 1, 0, 1, 1, right? Only that leftmost bit is different. Same thing with 1 and 9 and 0 and 8 and 2 and 10, right? So in addition, so basically we have adjacency along all of the outside edges, right? Sort of left to right and top to bottom. Okay. So let's work a couple of examples, starting with this. Let's do f, which is a function of four variables, a, b, c, and d is equal to the sum of midterms, uh, 0, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, you can see these get pretty long. 14 and 15. And then we need to drop in all of those terms. So we go 1 and 0, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 14, and 15. And so now we go ahead and group our terms. So um, let's just go take a look at it. One thing that jumps out is this column, 3, 7, 15, and 11. Remember, our groups can be of size powers of 2, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So we'll go ahead and group that guy. And that's going to get us, let's see, it fits inside the C column and in the D column, but it splits the Bs and the A. So that's just going to be equal to C and D. Next up is a box of four that we can make right here from six, seven, 15, and 14. So let's group those terms together. And we'll see that that fits inside the B rows and the C columns, but splits the D and the D naught and splits the A naught and the A. So we'll say that's just going to be equal to B, C, or now, like we talked about before, there's adjacency, remember, on the tops and bottoms. So we can take 0, 1, 8, 9 and create a group of 4, like that. And we'll see that it splits, let's see, it fits inside the C naught columns. Um, it splits the A naught and the A. It splits the D naught and the D, but it fits inside the rows for B naught and B. So that's just going to be equal to b naught and c naught. So there we go. This whole function simplifies down to c naught and d or b and c or b naught and c naught. So let's go ahead and do one more example. Let's say that we've got again f is a function of four variables a, b, c, and d and is equal to the sum of midterms. 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, and 15. Okay, so now we've got our K-map, and we go ahead and drop in our 1 terms in the cells. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, and 15. So, all right, so the first thing that ought to jump out is that we can create this big old box of eight um, by combining the top and bottom rows. 
So that's 0, 1, 3, and 2 connects to 8, 9, 11, and 10. And this whole group of 8 fits neatly inside of the B0 rows but splits everything else. So that term resolves to just B0. Next up, let's look at, we can create a box of 4, 14, 15, 10, 11, and 10. So just like that. And we see that that fits inside with A and C. So that simplifies to A and C. Or, now the last thing here is we've got this term at 5. Now there's not a lot we can do here. Um, don't forget we cannot combine 5, 1, and 9 despite the fact that they're adjacent because, remember, the groups have to be powers of 2. So we cannot have a group of 3. So the best we can do for term number 5 here is create a group of 2 um, right there with 5 and 1. So we'll see from that that it fits inside A0 and C0 and D. So that term fits inside A0, C0, and D. So and once we've grouped in all the ones, now we know we're finished and this function simplifies to just B0 or A and C or A0 and C0 and D. And that's all there is to four variable maps. Um, like we said, the mechanics aren't different at all from the two and three. The map is a little bit bigger um, to set up, but there you go. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.